hello everyone welcome back to simright fashion academy channel today's tutorial is going to focus on the flayed off shoulder top okay so this flayed off shoulder top as you can see right now i have the my basic patterns in here okay so this is the basic bodice pattern which i'm going to make use of for this off shoulder and this is the off shoulder sleeve you can see that that is what i'm going to use i'm i'm going to alter these two patterns right now to get that flayed top okay that you are seeing on the screen okay so if you are new to this tutorial if you are new to simrai fashion academy channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video and share to family and friends drop your suggestions and comments on the description box below okay all right so for the making of this uh, pattern i'll be dropping the link on the description box on how to make an off shoulder and so you can use the off shoulder pattern in there okay and i'm also going to drop on the link how to make the basic bodies pattern as well of course it's the basic bodies i'm dropping not the off shoulder because the off shoulder has a bustier to it and it's not going to work on this particular flat top so you need a plain pattern like this of course we are not going to put into consideration this that the bust that and we are not we are going to just make use of the off shoulder part of it so i'm going to show you how we are going to cut off the off shoulder right now both of them i'm going to show you how we are going to do that so the first thing you need to do right here is to take the measurement of how off okay looking at that pattern i think is really off okay we can take the off shoulder at five inches of course you can see my line is already there so I'm offing this pattern at 5 inches and this is the 5 inches mark right here, okay? So because I don't want to, you know, I still want to make use of this pattern for other, you know, sewings and draftings. So I will just quickly fold in the off shoulder parts, okay? I believe you understand what I, I did here. I'm just trying to hide the off shoulder instead of cutting it off right now i just hid it okay this is the off shoulder pattern so now i'm making use of a shoulder of um my shoulder is 15 inches divided by two i have 7.5 so i'm going to take away two inches from my shoulder i believe you understand what I, what i'm talking about okay my shoulder is seven 15 inches so whatever your shoulder is divide by two whatever result you have what i mean is my shoulder is 15 inches i'm going to divide it by two and i have 7.5 and that is exactly what i used to drop the shoulder pattern of these um uh, basic full scale bodies so the result of 7.5 i'm going to take away two two inches for my off shoulder so i will reconstruct my armhole so I'm going to take place my, this is my center front and I'm going to make a mark of 5.5 because 7.5 take away 2, I have 5.5 inches. So I'm going to make a mark of 5.5. You can see my 5.5, that is where my off shoulder is going to be connected to the armhole. So I'm reconstructing my off shoulder armhole right now. So this is exactly what I have. Of course, I don't want to call this pattern, but as is, you know, I'm looking at it right now. It appears it might be cut. Okay, so you understand. So I'll also hide this part again, okay, to form exactly my off shoulder because I don't want to cut this. Okay, thank, thank, thank God it has, uh, it has really come out exactly as I wanted it. So this is how we are going to have the off shoulder bodies right now. So we are going to make use of these off shoulder bodies right now on our fabric to cut out that flayed bodies. Of course, the flay I already have on my basic bodies upper neckline. I already have 5.5. So I'm adding six inches to it. That is for my 
uh, for my elastic encasement. So six plus five point five right now. Um, I have twelve and uh, I have eleven and a half. Six, five and a half plus six is eleven and a half. Then I'm going to add one inch to it for my stitching allowance, and that one inch is going to make it twelve and a half. So right now I'm going to fold my fabric. You can see this is my single piece of fabric I'm making use of. So I just folded it by two. I folded it by two equal parts. Can you see? So you have to make sure this is the part on fold, okay? Just as you cut your flay or your pep peplon. So this is what we are going to do. So that particular figure I have 12.5. I'm going to place it this way. Can you see how I, I'm, I placed it? I placed it to touch this point and touch this point. So this is the point right now. And I'm going to rule my line across the 12 points. Five. So this will serve as my guide line right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the measurement from the tip. And you can see in here I have six and a half inches. So I'm going to measure six and a half inches all around. Six and a half inches. Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. I believe you saw what I just did there. So I now took what I have from the tip to this point and took it all around to form the radius. Can you see? So right now I formed the radius. So to make it clearer, I want to cut it off immediately. Okay, so you see the radius shape it has in there. So can you see? I've cut it right now. So you can see the radius that I believe is clearer right now. You can see the radius in there. Okay. All right, so from this tip of this radius right now, I'm going to take the length of this blouse. And the length of this blouse, um, I want to make use of 13 inches. I just want to make it a crop top because I don't have much fabric in here. So I'm going to take the length at, okay, let me make it 15 inches. Okay, I'm going to make the length 15 inches. You can make it longer as you wish. I'm just making it 15 inches because I don't have much fabric for this demonstration. Okay, so it's just a demonstration tutorial to show you how you are going to achieve that top on the screen. Okay, so this is the bodies I'm cutting right now. And I'm making my mark of the length, starting all the way from the tip. Take note. Make sure you add your seam allowances also. Make sure you add. So you can make it longer. You can make it maybe 20 inches. If the actual length is 20 inches, you can make it 23 for your elastic encasement and for your hemming allowance. So you can see, this is what I have there. So you can see the flay running all the way and I'm going to cut it off right now. So right now I'm cutting it off to show you what you need to have for the one part. That is the front part. Okay. And what we have in here, we are going to cut for the back part as well. So the front and the back is going to be the same. So you can see this is what you expected to have, okay? Just a flay of 360. Can you see that? This is what you expected to have at this point. So right now, since this is what we have at this point, the next thing I want to do, I'm bringing back my pattern. This is the part that is open. You can see that. And I'm going to place the armhole part to cut off the armhole. Remember, we are attaching our sleeve. And this is how I'm going to cut off the armhole. Can you see? So I will push it a little in because I need to stitch the side as well. So to stitch the side, okay, let me just keep it this way. Okay, I just, I don't want to eat in into... Okay, so you can angle it this way 
and have about one inch seam allowance at that point so right now i will still add my 0 0.5 for seam because i'm going to seam these bodies i'm going to seam it together with the arm with the armhole okay so this is what i have at this point and at this point once you spread the sleeve we are going to attach a uh, elastic okay to have that effect so if you actually want to be to have enough elastic uh, on this part all you need to do is to increase the six inches maybe you make it uh, eight inches or nine inches so you can gather enough okay if you actually want to gather enough but i think six inches is okay for this demonstration so you can see this is the armhole part right now which i've cut can you see i cut the armhole part where i'm going to attach my sleeve so i'm going to use this pattern right now to cut my the back part of it as well all right so coming over to the sleeve i'm going to repeat the same process i did in the bodies i'm going to take the measurement of what i have here i have five inches so i would like to add extra five inches because i have an elastic encasement on the sleeve as well so you can see i have my fabric folded by two just as we did i'm just repeating the same process okay for the sleeve so you fold it by two five plus five is ten plus one inch seam allowance so i'm going to that is one inch is 11 inches so i'll place my tape you can see how i place the tape to make sure i get 11 inches can you see so this is the point of my 11 inches and i'm going to rule a line across it this way okay so now i'll place my tape in here uh, to get what i have i have seven inches here i'll go around by seven inches okay you go around by seven inches you go around by seven inches okay so you just take what you have from this end to this end that will serve as what you are going to rotate that is what you do for the bodies as well okay so seven inches seven inches i'll keep marking seven inches i'll keep marking can you see so i will just cut it off So I'm going to cut the 7 inches off right now. Remember this part of my sleeve is also on fold. So now what I have in here is going to serve as the length. Remember it's a demonstration tutorial. If you want to top your length to 13 or 14, you, you know, you take the measurement accordingly. So right now i have what i have here will serve as the length of my sleeve that is seven and a half so i'll keep moving seven and a half i'll keep moving seven and a half i'll keep going seven and a half just as you do on your flay seven and a half seven and a half okay so this is the seven and a half for the sleeve that is if you want a flat sleeve to it. If you want a flat sleeve attached to the flat dress, that is what you are going to do. But if you don't want, just cut your, your sleeve the way it is and add extra 5 inches to it, okay? All you need to do is to place on a straight, add extra 5 inches and in case you're elastic. I believe you understand what I just explained. So this is my sleeve for the off shoulder and i'm going to also place the armhole part just as i did i'm going to place it i'm trying to angle it you can see how i'm doing that can you see 
so i will just add my simmer allowance of 0 0.5 all right so this becomes the sleeve part okay so i'm going to put encase okay so i'll quickly go to my machine and i'm going to encase like i said i'm cutting a flayed sleeve this is a flayed sleeve going to be attached to that body so and this is one part of it i cut here i'm going to use this to cut the second part so right now i'll go to my machine to encase but before i go to my machine to encase the elastic measurement we are going to take is going to be what i have in here 5.5 and i'll add 0 0.5 for the stitching of the armhole today to the sleeve so everything will be six inches so six inches this is just one part of it the other part of it is another six inches that is 12 inches so i'm going to cut my elastic i have my elastic in here which i'm going to cut at 12 inches so this is 12 inches and i'll cut it here for this leaf that is what i'm going to attach on this leaf okay with the elastic gathers in there okay all right so right now i'm going to cut the bodies the second part of my bodies and i'm going to cut the second part of my sleeve so once i get to my machine right now i'll be showing you how you are going to sew your elastic encasement to encase your elastic and show you how you use your safety pin to put it in we join the bodies and see the finished result all right people so you can see on my machine here i have two of my sleeves can you see i've already cut two of my flat sleeves okay i'm making use of a flat sleeve if you want a straight sleeve just add six inches to the length or on the tip okay for your straight sleeve for your elastic encasement so now I'm going to pick up the fabric. This is the fabric, the basic bodies, uh, parts of the flat sleeve. You can see that. And I have two of the basic bodies of the flat sleeve there. Okay, so this is the second part of it right now. Okay, I have two of them. So I'm going to work on one to show you how you are going to encase your elastic. So if you look at this part, that is the armhole part, okay? And this is the neckline part, okay? So on the neckline part, that is where I'm going to encase my elastic. So I'll quickly fold. First, I'm going to fold at 0 0.5. Secondly, I'm going to fold. It depends on how, you know, how thick you want it to be. If you want it to just be have a little thickness you can just fold at a quarter of an inch first and then you fold at 0 0.5 okay if you want it 0 0.5 folding but if you want it one inch folding fold at 0 0.5 and fold one inch so let me go by the little okay let me go by three quarter folding so my elastic will have to enter you know without issues so right now i'm going to run i'm encasing trying to run the encasement for my elastic so you can see i'm encasing my elastic right now so make sure you fold it you have the foldings equally okay you know this is a flay so it has to be folded equally so you can see i'm done encasing my elastic you can see it now so the next thing i want to do now you can see my safety pin here and this is the length of the elastic which we calculated and i've cut so right now i'm going to impute i'm going to insert it can you see what i'm doing I will keep inserting and I'll be drawing in. So I will keep inserting this, but I have to also be very, very careful so this elastic does not go in. 
okay the part of this part does not go in so i will just stitch by that part to secure it okay so at this part right now i'm going to put it in and secure it you can see it more, almost went in so this part can you know can actually run into the casing so that is why you actually need to secure it so i think i have it in here right now and i'm going to secure it okay so before you have it go in moving please stitch on it okay so i'll just stitch on it right now i have it and i'm okay so you can see at this point right now i've stitched on the elastic so i have the elastic stitched on right now so i've secured that part so i have to continue till i bring it out from this part can you see so once i bring it out i'll take away my pin and i'm going to also secure this part can you see so i'm going to stitch on it remember we've already measured our seam allowance uh, our elastic the way we actually want it so right now i'm going to distribute it you can see what i have in there so i'm distributing it to have the effect i actually desire so like i said if you want it fuller you add more okay instead of adding six inches you can extend to 10 inches okay added to the normal basic flake so this is the how it's going to look like that is the upper the front part of it so i'm going to do the same process for the back part of it but before i do that i need to show you the sleeve the sleeve is the same process i'll pick up one of them to show you too so i'm going to encase it again just as i did for the other the body so whatever thing you do to, to the bodies both in the cutting also do the same on the sleeve if you want a flare sleeve okay so i keep repeating that is for those that want to make use of a flare if you need a flare sleeve that is what you need to do but if you don't want a flare sleeve to it then you can make a straight sleeve and also add your encasement allowance okay all right so now i'm encasing the sleeve okay so the same process i use to encase my bodies is the same process i'm encasing the upper part of the sleeve okay So I'm going to run my encasement. So it depends on the size of elastic. The size of elastic you have, you are going to make use of, will tell how much encasement you are going to make use of. All right, so now I'm done encasing. You can see the sleeve, I've encased it. So now with my safety pin and my elastic, okay i've already cut my all right people so you can see i'm done encasing the elastic part for the sleeve you can see the flat sleeve so what i'm going to do is also to use the measurement of my elastic okay you can see how we took the measurement on the on the paper okay on the drafting paper the upper part of it you just take the measurement of what you have there for your elastic so i'll keep pulling like i told you you have to be careful of this part we are going to repeat the same process we had on the bodies that is what we are doing in here people okay so once i get closer i don't want it to move in you know because it can actually go in so fast okay so i'll push a little a little a little more to get it on that part so you can see i have it in here 
and i'm going to stitch all right so you can see the elastic at this point so i'm going to stitch on it okay you stitch on it okay so as i've stitched on it i've held that part so now it's not going to move so i will also continue I'll continue with my safety pin you can see that and I have it in here so I'm taking away my safety pin just as I did on the other part and I'm going to stitch this part okay I'm going to stitch on it all right so the next thing we want to do right now is I've done for the my elastic for the flay you can see that i have this sleeve ready so i'm going to repeat this same process right now i'm going to repeat it on the other sleeve then we'll start joining it this is how we are going to join it to the bodies can you see it's going to be attached this way that is if you want a flay sleeve to it but if you have it want a straight sleeve just cut straight the way you see the off shoulder sleeve and just add before the beginning of the sleeve add six inches expand the the sleeve that is what i mean okay if you want it a straight sleeve but i want this a flat sleeve okay all right so i'm going to repeat this same process i'm repeating this same process for the other part of the sleeve and you can see this is the bodies right now this is for the body so the bodies and the sleeve are the same thing the same cutting the same stitching the same cutting the same stitching so i'm going to in case my elastic for the back part of this right now then we'll start joining the pieces together right, lovely people so right now i have my front bodies and i have my back my back bodies can you see so i'm going to kiss my front you can see this is the right side of it i'm going to kiss the back right side okay so anywhere can be your front any part can be your back so now you can see i've made the two together so i'm going to this is the armhole i'm not going to start stitching from my armhole so I will leave the armhole, I'll make sure I make the armhole part together and start stitching from the side, okay? So from the side, I'm going to stitch at 0.5, okay? It depends on what you want to see because there is so much room allowance. If you want to stitch at 1 inch, okay, it's up to you. But I'm going to stitch at quarter of an inch because it's more than... 0.5 I just stitched so you can see I've closed up one side I'll also go over to this other side I'll leave the armhole part so don't stitch on the armhole that is where we are going to attach our sleeve so you can see the armhole part can you see that you can see so this part is the armhole where our seat sleeve so I'm going to stitch on the side right now so stitching on the side, you can stitch by one inch or quarter of an inch or 0.5, but I'm stitching on three quarter of an inch. So I'm done stitching the both sides together right now. So I'm going to flip it to the right, to the front side right now. So can you see what I have? flipping it to this side because right now the next thing i want to do is to start merging so you can see what i have now okay so and this is the armhole you can see the armhole part so right now before i start stitching the armhole i'm going to repeat the same process what i did here now i'll do it here again but this time i'm going to put one that is this is the sleeve as you can see just as you close up your sleeve, I'll just merge them together. This is the armhole part. You see the reason we need the armhole. So I will leave the armhole and I'm going to stitch on this part. Can you see? So I'm going to stitch. Can you see? Okay. 
So I will trim it off to match up. Okay. So you can see I have, I'll turn the sleeve right now. You can see I have the part at which I'm going to fix today, bodies. Then I'll also do the same on the other part of the sleeve. I'll match them together. The armhole, I'll leave the armhole part. And I'll stitch the sides of the sleeve. Okay, so right now it's time for us to start merging it. So this is the armhole part of the sleeve right now. This is the elastic part and this is the armhole. So I'm bringing the bodies, the bodies right now. This is the bodies, the part at which I'm going to fix this armhole the sleeve okay so i believe you are seeing what i'm doing in here this is the upper part of this dress can you see that is the upper part of it and this is the side of the dress you can see the side this is the armhole part you can see the armhole part so i'm going to merge it together kiss it with the armhole can you see so i'll just pick up these parts merge it with these parts can you see? I'm merging it with this part and I'll secure it with my pin because I'm going to stitch on it immediately, stitch all around it. So I'll just match it up. Can you see? Match it up with the these two parts. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to stitch. I'm going to stitch at 0 0.5. Remember, we added 0 0.5. So right now I'm going to stitch. You can see how I'm stitching. Okay, so since I have the center mesh together, all I need to do is to match this other side. So I'm going to sew, I'm going to sew at 0 0.5. So this is how I sew one part of the sleeve. And I'm going to repeat the, the same process. So you can see I'm done stitching one part of the sleeve and I'm removing my pins. So this is what I have in here. Can you see? This is what one part of it is looking like. Can you see? So this is the flare part of it I told you. Then I'm going to repeat this same process. What I have in here right now, I'm going to repeat this process on this other part. Then I'll put it on the dress form for you, for you to see the finished outlook. All right, beautiful people, you can see the outcome of the flay you can see is actually looking so beautiful the flay top with the flay sleeve attached together with the elastic it came out so nicely so you can see the flays in front there and you can see the sleeve at as well so this is the front part of this and you can see how off the shoulder is this is the back of feet you see how the back, how off the back is. Okay, this is actually what we meant by the flay cutting. Okay, so you can see the process it took us to have this beautiful top in here. Okay, all right, people, you can see the sleeve as well. Flayed, how flayed the sleeves are. Like I said, you can make it a straight sleeve, you can make it a flat sleeve, but I prefer to make it a flat sleeve to match up with the flat dress. All right, so that is it, people. Thank you very much for coming to this uh, uh, tutorial. Okay, keep following Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel and you love this content, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like share this video to family and friends 
and also drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well okay so thank you very much for coming once again see you in my next video bye